In this video, we're going to be looking at the posterior thigh. We can see up here would have been gluteus maximus, but it's been removed. That lets us know we're looking at the back of the thigh. When we look at the posterior thigh, we find three muscles. These three muscles form the hamstring muscle group. The reason we call them hamstrings is when you hang a ham, you hang it by the tendons of these muscles. So in other words, you hang the ham by its strings. Now, when we look at this, there's an easy trick to remember these muscles. We look down at the feet. So we see that this side over here is our big toe side. This is gonna be the medial side over here. That means this is the lateral side. Let's start with the medial side first. On the medial side, we can see two muscles. We have this muscle right here, and then the muscle that sits immediately below it. So you can see how this muscle is sitting underneath of this muscle. The lower muscle is known as the semimembranosus. The one that's on top is the semitendinosus. Semi means half or partial, so half membrane and half tendon. The semimembranosus on bottom, the M tells you it's on the medial side, and the T in tendinosis tells you it's on top. So semimembranosus and semitendinosus are both on the medial side and the semitendinosus is the top muscle. Over on the lateral side, we see this muscle here and if we turn it to look at the lateral side of the thigh, we can see the second part of the muscle right here. So this muscle has two separate heads. A two-headed muscle is called biceps. So this muscle is biceps femoris, the two-headed muscle on the femur. So biceps femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus, those three muscles together form the hamstrings.